What's going on? Hope everyone's doing good. Brickman USA here. I know it's been a little bit. We'll talk about that in a few. But first, let's open some mail. The first set we got in this box is the promo, the Trade Federation Troop Carrier. As you guys can see, it has the 25th anniversary logo there, and it also has the 25th anniversary logo for episode one, The Phantom Menace. That is wicked, and I can't wait to see it later today with my girlfriend. As you can see, she's chuckling in the background at me because I'm a goofball, but here's the back of the box. Can't wait to get this built up. And the next set we got in this box is the brand new Sith Infiltrator with the 25th anniversary Saw Gerrera. As I loved Jedi Survivor and both of those games and the Clone Wars, I was really excited to finally get this figure. Once again, the 25th anniversary logo there, and here's the back of the box. The final big set I got for this May 4th in my deals was the brand new R2. As you can see, my box is a little dink, but that doesn't really matter to me. As you can see, the 25th anniversary logo down there with the brand new Darth Malak. Super excited for him to get built up and put him in the figure collection. The set just looks really good. We also got with the promo deals was the AAT poly bag. Probably going to give this one away on whatnot eventually, but still a cool freebie. Should be a few more things in the box. Let's check them out. Here is the Yavin 4 collectible coin you got with this year's May the 4th. Here's the box. Box is pretty cool. Here's what the coin looks like. Things a little hard to... Get inside, looks pretty cool if you ask me. Here's the front of the coin. It actually is very cool having it in person. It's very detailed. This little rectical part is pretty cool, but it's nothing special. Here's the back of it. But really, I don't know what use I'm gonna have for this thing, to be Last honest. Last but not least, we should have the Insider's poster. I believe this was numbered to around 7,500. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. But first glance, this thing is really cool. It's a really cool print. I'm excited to get it framed and throw it up on the wall. I decided to get this over the coin just because I really like posters and it's going to look awesome in the Lego setup. Overall, I'm very happy with my May 4th purchases and I'm really excited to build them and make some videos on them. May the force be with you. Have a great May 4th. On May 1st at midnight, I went on lego.com like the rest of you guys, and I waited in the queue to make my order. Even with the website being full of people, I was able to get my order through within 45 minutes to an hour. To celebrate May 4th, I am going to see the 25th anniversary screening of Episode 1 in theaters. I hope the cups don't sell out. I know it's been two months since my last video, and I'm sorry for the lack of content. I just needed a little break to reset and take some time for myself. In that time, I truly haven't been buying too much Lego, but I've been traveling a little bit as I went to Hawaii and Florida, and I'm gonna show you guys some clips from those trips. In Florida, we checked out some of the old Spanish forts. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I've really missed posting and I'm really excited to get back to it. I have a lot more content coming soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribe. And make sure to check me out on Instagram and whatnot. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Have a happy May the 4th and Brickman out.